Future homeowners or investors, welcome to an episode where we are going to be talking about things that often get overlooked in the home buying process. We're going to be diving deep into this topic that is often overlooked, but can make or break your bank account. And it comes down to negotiating closing costs. Think of these as the hidden gems or the last hurdles in your marathon towards homeownership. So we're going to unravel things that often get overlooked in the simplest terms. I'm going to be explaining this to you as if I was your good, good friend and we're having a cup of coffee just so that it's easy to understand. And stay tuned because we've got a killer tip that's going to save you big time. So first things first, let's talk about what closing costs actually are. They're the collection of fees and charges that come along with finalizing your mortgage. This includes appraisal fees, title fees, insurance, any legal fees, and some taxes. Think of them as the side dish to your main course of your down payment. They might not be the star of the show, but they're significant enough to demand your attention. So now let's dive into the nitty gritty of the matter and its negotiations. Yes, you heard that right. Those closing costs are negotiable. And this is where having a good real estate agent really comes into play. It's like having a good real estate agent negotiate closing costs and of course, depending on the market, is crucial because it could mean saving you several thousand dollars on the uh, purchase of your own house. Now, the key here is to make sure that you negotiate with the seller to help shoulder some of these costs. It's like they're going to be covering this, these closing costs, but they're not going to be forking up the cash literally. It's going to come out of the sell of their house. So it just gets subtracted from the amount that they will make. So picture this. You have your heart set on a house priced at $425,000. Now you've done your homework and saved up a down payment of 3%, which is $12,750. But wait, there's a twist. Your closing costs are going to be around $6,500. And here's where you can apply or your realtor can apply some awesome negotiation skills. So you're going to tell the seller that they will cover a portion of these costs, say 1.5% of the purchase price. That is about $6,300 to be exact. $6,375. Now, this strategy could potentially save you $6,300 off of your initial expenses. Now, that's not just a savings. That's smart financial planning. But wait, I have more. We need to talk about strategy and market dynamics. Now, remember Dave Ramsey's advice on being financially wise. It applies here too. In a buyer's market where homes are plenty and buyers are few, you hold more power. Sellers often are more willing to negotiate to close on their house sell. Now, however, in a seller's market where demand outstrips supply, you might need to be more strategic with your offer. Different types of loans have different rules regarding how much a seller can contribute to closing costs. For instance, with a conventional loan, the limit is typically 3% of the purchase price if you're making a down payment of less than 10%. It is essential to understand these nuances because this is where if you ask for too much, it's really going to go to waste if you don't have the right down payment or if you're not in the right type of loan. So a pro tip, balance your offer's attractiveness with your financial goals. If you're worried about your offer standing out, consider adjusting the purchase price and the amount you ask the seller to contribute. It's a delicate dance. It's sort of like a little give and take where it needs to make sense for both parties and depending on how eager the seller is to sell the house, it might just be in your favor. Now, we can't talk about home buying without mentioning the potential of a housing crash. It's a term that can send shivers down any homeowner's spine. Guys, do not worry. Being well-informed and strategically prepared can help you navigate even the rockiest of real estate markets. Now, it's important to understand the trends, listen to experts, and always have a plan B. The good news is right now, there is no housing market crash in sight because of where our supply and demand is. There's a lot more responsible buyers, there's a lot more responsible lending, and there are just too many people with tons and tons of equity in their property. Guys, thank you so much. That is a wrap on our crash course in making sure that you get some closing costs covered and what closing costs entail. Remember, this journey is more than just a series of numbers and contracts. It's about making a smart 
financial decision that is going to pave the way to your dream home without breaking your bank account. Keep these tips in your pocket or save this video so that you stay informed about the market. Yes, even those pesky housing crash rumors, which I will debunk always and always always negotiate like you mean it and make sure that you tell this to your real estate agent your future self will thank you for it if you have any questions with the specific scenario or if you need to run anything by myself or my team we are more than happy to help catch you on the next one and happy house hunting guys